Hey guys, welcome to this channel. Remember, it's Max from the next creation. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider supporting this channel. It's the only way that you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to, to look at another thing that is the responsibility of a security guard during the emergency. What we call emergency, it can be emergency on your side where you are working, it can be emergency in the building, it can be emergency in a building, in a mall, wherever you are posted to work and it is uh, what is your responsibility. We look at what you call uh, what you call an evacuation and remember when we are talking about evacuation, evacuation comes in, you are rescuing someone's property, you are rescuing a client's life or you are, ex uh, you are rescuing what we call information. Information may be in form of files, may be in form of computers in that particular place so that they are not burnt in case there is a fire or in, you know, you're rescuing property in case there is an emergency in that case of you are rescuing what you call people's lives in case being closed up in a place where there is an emergency. But what you need to know is what we call an evacuation plan. What is your role as a security guard during the evacuation plan? Your role as a security guard during evacuation plan is to assist people to the nearest assembly point. That is your role. But how do you do it? You have to make sure that you guide people using what you call, there is always what you call evacuation plans in the building. For people who have been to these sites, there is what you call evacuation plans in these buildings. And each evacuation plan, you'll find that these evacuation plans will always have outlets using the nearest staircase areas. And after the nearest staircase areas, then that means it will take you direct to what you call an assembly point. So as a security guard, in case of an emergency, it is your responsibility or it is part of your role to be part of the rescue team to make sure that you protect people and lives of your property in one way or the other. And let's still, uh, what you need to know is that it is, you have to do it a little bit professionally because I keep on telling you that wherever you are posted uh, in most of these uh, buildings, uh, most of uh, the tenant or the client lean on the security. Before they look at what you call your, your guidance, they definitely have to look at you, what you call your leadership. In case there is a fire alarm, in case there is an emergency, they want to see what a security does. Your leadership is guiding these people to move to the nearest point. There is fire in the upper floor. You are on the lower floor. What do you do as a security? Now we are looking at the skill, we are looking at the leadership, the leadership skill, not the guidance skill. The leadership skill is letting people know there is fire, there is an emergency in the building. And they need to evacuate to the nearest point by showing them the nearest evacuation routes. Driving them down to what you call the assembly point. That is the role of the security. You can either use a whistle brower, you can use a whistle, or you can still coordinate with other rescue member team or to see that people are evacuated out of the building. Remember, still something that you need to, to know that uh, most of the time when we are doing patrolling, something that you need to understand is that make sure all the exit ways are not blocked in any way. That is, the, that is the use of patrolling, that you make sure you clear all the nearest ways or all the corridors must be treated or must be cleared out of items. In case there is one resident, there is one tenant or there is one that is trying to block it, you need to advise professionally such that they need to remove those that when it comes to times of emergency or times of evacuation, then definitely it's going to be a clear way that people are not going to be blocked, meaning that you'll protect your, uh, your leadership skill at that time, will protect people's life, then will also protect life and will protect what you call uh, information of other people's life in, in one way or the other. So meaning that you must make those ways accessible for people to, uh, to, to access to what you call the nearest uh, the nearest assembly point. So meaning that as a security, your role as a security guard is more than guidance, but it's what you call a leadership role by guiding, uh, guiding people or letting people or alerting people, there's fire, you alert people using what you call a fire action plan. You can use what you call a fire action plan. You can alert your supervisors. You can alert the building management. 
you let them know what is happening you can definitely also use what you call the evacuation plans in the building which are situated in at least every floor to try to direct people out of the building to avoid the danger that may be associated with that emergency thank you so much i hope i've tried to share something someone will ask for that question thank you so much see you again in the next videos next